everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window. I am so thankful and excited you stopped by and wanted to quilt with me. Today we are working on our block number five for our Super Bloom block of the month. I am so happy with the results. The block number five is right in the center of the quilt. It is so beautiful. It's a lovely star, a variation on a feather star. Let's see what we have in our quilting basket and make this block together. All right, in our quilting basket, we have kits that are fabrics for this block or you can use pre-cut kit. If you're doing block of the month with us, you're receiving either one of those and you're receiving your pattern and maybe some little treats and gifts in your little shipments. If you're just joining us and you wanted to do this quilt, please remember we do have beautiful Super Bloom kits on our website and they are the ones that are pre-cut. They're all the blocks already pre-cut, ready, set, go for you. So those are wonderful if you just joining us you can catch up really quickly with the blocks and now we are on a block number five so you can join us as soon as you get that kit one thing that i have put in my little basket today is this wool pressing mat i am so in love with that especially for my little half square triangle to press so that's something i recommend for you if you wanted to purchase for yourself and treat yourself for something nice we have our Macrotex needles for piecing. We're going to use Orofil thread. And of course, we need a pattern to make the block and follow the directions. I also included my little handy pressing tool because there are small little pieces today that we're going to be working with. And I like to press those with that little pressing tool. Sometimes when you iron it, it just gets too hot on those little pieces. So either hand pressing or you go ahead and you use a, uh, that wool little mat and a, a pressing, uh, press with the iron, but very, very gently. All right, let's put those kits and everything to the side. We're going to start by making a tiny, simple, little half square triangle unit. Half square triangle unit. Those pieces are right here in the quilt. We're going to need six of them for one corner of the quilt. And we have four corners and they're going to be 24 of those half square triangles there are in all different or shades of pink half square triangles are made by taking the dark the light placing them right sides together sewing with a quarter inch seam allowance and then you're gonna go ahead push your fabric open just like this push the seam allowance towards the pink and now you have a beautiful one and a half by one and a half unfinished little triangle unit with a small scissors and i love those four and a half inch um, scissors you're gonna go ahead and trim those bunny ears this is how you're going to prepare your half square triangle and like i said for one corner of the unit, we're going to need six of them. Let's lay up the corner of the unit. We're going to need one square, one square, I have that right here, one little square for the corner, and now let's go ahead and place those little triangles. Oh, they are so cute. And I did pay attention to the color. When you open the pattern, it's in color. Notice lighter pink, medium, and dark pink. I'm shading it down, so pay attention to that. Now we're going to sew this to this, this to this, and the same, we're gonna sew those three pieces together. Once we sew this to this and this to this, we're gonna go ahead and sew this together. Let me show you how I did. And I wanted to tell you, when I sew my little um, units, I was really paying attention to my quarter inch seam allowance because I wanted to make sure that when I finish, 
everything match perfectly with my square and I push my seam allowance this way and then I go ahead and push my seam allowance this way right here now let's go ahead place this right over match the corners here and here I love my little pins I'm gonna pin it in place just like this oh this is gonna be beautiful and now with a gentle stitch I'm gonna stitch zoom 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 straight down here I like to sew from this side straight down notice it because all my seams are laying it down so that is gonna make it nice and easy pull the pins up open it up then you're gonna go ahead place this right sides together sew it and in no time you have a beautiful unit like this look how sweet this look oh what a nice little unit for a corner of our quilt right there this is going to be placed right here so as soon as you finish one you're going to make three more because you need total four of those units for one block wonderful let's move to our second unit for this block what it's this quarter square triangle unit right here it's gonna give us that star points and this one is made from one light quarter square triangles two blue quarter square triangle and one dark quarter square triangle now you're gonna ask me again why am I not using a half square triangle here? Because I don't want the bias to be on the outside. I want the quarter square triangle because then the bias is on the inside of my block. And that's so important. Never bias on the outside of your block, on the outside of your row, on the outside of your quilt. Why? Because then your quilt is going to be nice and straight and it's not going to wave when you're enjoying quilting it. So now all that I'm going to do is place those two triangle right sides together, sew it, do the same right here, right sides together, sew it. As soon as I finish doing that, look at this, I'm going to pull those pins out they're gonna look just like this i'm going to push that seam allowance towards this blue and the same here push the seam allowance towards the blue so that way the seam allowance is pushing in the opposite direction so when i put those two units together i can go ahead and nest really nice this seam take my pin pin it right in place how wonderful are you excited about this we are making block number five can you imagine this we are halfway through our second row of blocks. This is amazing. Did you notice I put a pin right here at the beginning and at the end? This is bias, so it loves to stretch. And with a beautiful quarter inch seam allowance, I'm gonna stitch it right down. As soon as I finish stitching, I am ready to open that seam in the back. Do you remember how we do this? We're gonna go ahead, and this was our um seam right here and all that you do is pull it like this and then the center up open it up wonderful you're gonna finish pressing as soon as you finish pressing you can go ahead grab your beautiful creative grids ruler take it right put it right over match that 45 degree angle through the center of your quarter square triangle unit grab your rotary and with a gentle trim trim and trim those bunny ears and as soon as you do that you can turn it around and do that same thing on this side again match it up make sure that your quarter square triangle unit is exactly the size you want it what it's four and a half by four and a half oh you're doing so well you are just making such a beautiful quarter square triangle unit and you are going to make four of them you need four of them for each side of the block four of those units then our third unit that we have to make is the center unit look at this cute monkey wrench what a wonderful block feather star with a monkey wrench in the middle let's see how we make that cute little block we're gonna start by making half square triangle units and now you are so good in making those you're gonna make four of them one two three four as soon as you make 
four of those units you're gonna put a rectangle in between them and look at this how wonderful they're gonna frame that little square in the center oh this is gonna be delightful look at this how wonderful oh now what i'm going to do is i'm going to sew this in rows this is my first row second row third row just by putting it right sides together just like this and i have to tell you when i was sewing those little pieces those little half square triangle units i noticed something it really helped that i was using my stiletto right there and helping it holding this down so this doesn't turn over sew it then this side wonderful or if you want it you can start on this side straight down straight down but stiletto really was helping me feed some of those wonderful um seam allowance is in so so this to this this to this this is super simple rectangle right over the center zoom 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 do the same thing on this side flip it open flip it open push your seam allowances in opposite direction so it's gonna go towards the center uh, towards the rectangle here outside towards the rectangle towards the rectangle in the center wonderful as soon as we do this we are gonna sew our rows together let me flip this to show you look at the seam allowances towards the rectangle towards the rectangle to the middle and you have a wonderful beautiful little block for the center of your a fifth block for our super bloom oh I am so excited for you so now we have the center we're gonna lay out our full block you need those four quarter square triangle units like we talked about it for the outside and I hope you enjoy them now we need this wonderful unit for the corners this is gonna give us that feather star look to it this is a variation of a feather star and uh, we need four of those look how nice and basically this is going to be assembled like a nine patch we're gonna sew first row second row third row look at those other rows see just like this and you just place it right sides together sew it flip it open sew this to this when you sewing make sure don't clip any of your points you have a wonderful points on your star as soon as you finish sewing it you will sew the rows together and now you have a beautiful block number five for the center of your quilt I am so excited for you in no time you have been moving along and creating beautiful blocks this block will be later on accent by beautiful applique but that's later on we will do a video on that one so you learn a little bit more about fusible applique and stitch a beautiful applique around the quilt with me later on now Thank you so, so much. Make sure you remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit our website for any of your quilting needs. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to join us, yes, we do have a few more of those Super Bloom Block of the Month kits. Or we have some of the half yard bundles for Super Bloom. So if you would like to, you can join us anytime. Happy quilting and stay safe.